Hey guys, I just wanted to give you a little demo of how to loop Ultima Online built-in music. That is the music that's played by the client um, when you go into a tavern or you recall into Buxton or Britain. Um, some of these tracks loop by default. The client will just continually play them and uh, it, that's nice. But other tracks that are really um, really pretty high quality uh, the, the client doesn't loop them by default so in this demo I'm going to show you how to get a nice clean tight loop of these um, for your own purposes <clears throat> we have um, let's get rid of this guy here we have set up a tavern in one of our quests and we really like to play the tavern one uh, soundtrack but we don't want to play it once we want to play it you know you know ten times okay so this this is how you do it um, I just have a speech sensor here so when I say play it will play it could be a motion controller or whatever you want um, so here we have the trigger repeater okay so a trigger repeater when it's triggered from say the speech sensor it will issue, in this case, 10 triggers to some other controller. So that'll be our music controller. The problem that we had to solve was one of latency. Um, usually, when you're using the trigger, trigger repeater, you'll set this interval to something uh, meaningful. You may want it really frequent. Or, or spaced out, you know, a couple of minutes, depending on your, your purpose. But with de when dealing with music, um, you're going to want this really short, and I'll show you why. The other, uh, the new feature I added here was wait ready. So as I alluded to, there's a problem with um, latency. Uh, the trigger repeater fires well, let's, let's look at how long the song is. So this is our music controller. We want to play Tavern 1. That's 59 seconds, 59.66 seconds long. Originally, we were setting our interval here to something like that, but due to latency, we would get another trigger and the music controller would be busy and so we would miss an entire minute we'd have to wait till the next duration timed out and that was that was ugly that really wasn't going to work for us so i added the notion of wait ready and when you're not dealing with music you can just leave this as false and it'll just send the the signals on the interval but when you're dealing with music, um, especially client-side music, um, the, the trigger repeater will start its timer immediately, right? Uh, if you set it to be exactly the, the length of the song, it would then send a signal to the, the, the music controller. The music controller would then have to send packets to the client and then the client's going to take however long it takes to play the music. So that means that you can't have the same interval as the duration of the song. There's just too much in between there. So what I've done is if you set wait ready to true, when the timer ticks on the trigger repeater, it just asks the music controller, hey, have you, are, are you done playing yet? And if the music controller is still busy, then the trigger repeater will not consume one of its count. So here we want a count of 10, but if the music controller is busy, we just skip it and check back. And then I set this to be one, one second so that it checks back every second to look for, um, for availability of the music player. This one second, um, not terribly expensive and it gives you a nice tight music loop okay so we're gonna play uh, 
Tavern One, and it's not normally uh, looped by the client, so we're going to fake it out and, uh, and, and play it for you here in a loop. So I'll just communicate with my speech sensor here. Okay, so there we got our nice tavern music. And while we're just waiting for this to go ahead and repeat, I've added some debugging code during development, and I think it's useful to see what's happening here. So I'm going to turn on debugging on these two controllers. So as you can see, the trigger repeater is waiting, which is this, wait ready. So it's waiting for the music controller to finish. The music controller is reporting that it's still busy. So it's a one minute song, so we don't have long to wait here. Here we go. Stop play timer. So it went by kind of quick. So as soon as the music controller was done playing, the trigger repeater was able to get in there and restart it. So now we have this tavern music looping on demand. Um, and it's great. When it ends this time, watch the messages change here. You'll see that this guy gets freed up. He's stopping his timer. And then you'll see that this guy then can get in. There we go. All right, that's it. Just a quick demo. So you can loop music, UO music. Um, the music we generate server-side from our um, instruments is not an issue because we're controlling uh, the latency. There is none. It's all on the server. Um, but here we're really dependent on the round trip for the client to start up its, uh, its, its wave files that it has canned on its side. So we have, that's what we're accounting for here. All right. That's it. Bye. Have a nice rest of your day.